have been practicing how to roller skate or teaching myself how to roller skate and I made these little toe guards to you know protect my roller skate and thought you might want to learn because I see some of you also learn to roller skate so let's do this together this is a really easy project just grab your hook and yarn you can use any yarn that you want for me I use this yarn that I have at home I believe is a runway yarn but I will put all the information in the description box below this video to make sure that I say the right thing <laughs> so yeah this is the brand of the yarn again I put all info for you and I use hook 5 millimeter hook and you need a pair of scissor yarn needle and one stitch marker I highly recommend you to use stitch marker so we begin with a magic ring this is how i do the magic ring so round one you chain two just to build up the yarn and now you add nine half double crochet into that magic ring And after you have made nine half double crochet, you will pull the tail to close the ring like so. And we're going to close this round one with slip stitch into that chain two at the beginning. And round one, we have made a total of nine half double crochet. And yeah, don't forget to add that stitch marker into your last stitch because you might get confused. You see that the slip stitch, sometimes if you don't think about it, you might crochet into that as well. And if you want to make sure you can count your stitch, you should have nine half double crochet and your stitch marker should be on the last stitch of the round. So for round two, you will chain two again and this round gonna be increasing and that chain two just to build up the yarn and now the first stitch you're going to add two half double crochet into that first half double crochet from previous round and now for the next one you're going to add just one half double crochet I like to crochet with the tail in it so I don't have to weave too much <laughs> and this is going to be the repeat of this round so next stitch you're going to add two half double crochet and the next one you're going to add one half double crochet so go ahead do this until you arrive at the last stitch where you have at the stitch marker that will be your last stitch of this round And when this happens, you see at the middle, you have a big hole. You can just pull the tail to close the hole like that. And that is how you fix the problem. And yeah, now I come to almost the end of the round. As you can see, we are increasing every two stitch because one stitch we add two half double crochet and then the next one we add one half double crochet, right? 
So yeah, now I'm at the end because my last stitch now is where I have at the, the stitch marker. Now just remove the stitch marker because you need the stitch marker to be at the last stitch of your new round, which is round two now. And yeah, now you're going to repeat round two. So round three and round four, it's just the repeating of round two. Let's finish round two with slip stitch into the beginning chain two or the chain two at the beginning that you did. And that's how you close your round two. So now go ahead, repeat round two. Round two, we have made 14 half double crochet. And when you repeat that in round three, you have 21 half double crochet. And round four, you have 32 half double crochet. Make sure to move and add the stitch marker every time. So now round five, chain two. And we're going to do increasing different this time. Just add one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So yeah, just one half double crochet in each stitch five times, okay? All right, now you're going to increase by adding two half double crochet into the next one. I already increased one time. And again, repeating now, add one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. And now increase by adding two half double crochet into the next one. And keep doing that in every stitch number six, like after five stitch of one half double crochet, you will increase the next stitch by adding two half double crochet until you arrive to where you have the stitch marker. You will be adding uh, five times in total of the increasing and you will have two stitch left at the end before you meet the stitch marker. So here is your last increasing. And you see you have two stitches left. Now you're just gonna add one half double crochet in each of the next two. And yeah, you're done with round five. You can remove the stitch marker. And I just did five rounds because that's what I need. If you need more, then you're just gonna have to repeat round five again. But for me, it's just perfect like that. And now I'm just gonna slip stitch with the chain two from the beginning round to close the round. My round five, I have made a total of 37 half double crochet. Now we're going to try it on, on our skirt. So to do that and to install this on your shoe, just put it on to see the position. For me, I need to have 11 chain to wrap around the toe stop. I use the toe stop to be the holder and I use the top side. I will show you how I um, how I connect. <laughs> so there is a toe stop. You see the, the knot or the nut. I don't know what you call that. I go around, like wrap around that. So maybe you need more chain or less chain. You just try it on on your shoe and trying to pull and see if that will fit. If it's not, then just make the adjustment. And like I said, I just need 11 chain. So I did 11 chain and now I'm just gonna 
uh, slip stitch into the position where I just try it on and for me I slip stitch like I need about I need actually seven stitches in between you see from where I start the chain I count seven stitches and now I slip stitch there and I try it on again and I love the fit so much and yeah now we're going to whip in this thread because later on it's gonna be difficult <laughs> so just wrap in the yarn after you make the chain to go around the toe stop and now let's legs up our shoe so you need to pull your toe guard um, toward where there's a hole you usually use it for legs your shoe <laughs> i don't know if i said right so find a position where you want it to thread or legs your shoe i like to go under and not on the top because this way is more secure so i find a position where i want to pull the legs through and now on the other side it has to align with the hole you see because we have to put the legs into that hole right once you got these first two holes you are good to go because the rest it just legs up the shoe like you always do 